Welcome to the Creating Discussion Forums demo. In this demo, you will learn how to build discussion forums in which discussion topics can be placed and organized. By the end of this demo, your discussion area will be organized and ready for your topics. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the Course Tools drop down menu. Then choose the Discussions link. Notice the tabs at the top Discussions List, Subscriptions, Group and Section Restrictions, and Statistics. We are working in the Discussion List tab. Discussions are organized into forms. Topics are created under forms and messages are placed into topics. Forms can have several topics and each topic can have several messages. Click on the new drop down button and select the new form link. Under the properties tab in the title field, type in the name of your form. Example, Week 6 Discussions. In the description field, type in your overall idea for this form. Example, all Week 6 discussion assignments are found in the topics below. The form is the broad category that helps organize the discussion area. Once you have finished creating your forms, the next step will be to make topics to go in the forms. A topic is where you will write a written description of the assignment. Under Options, allowing anonymous messages means that the students can choose to leave messages anonymously. Even if this is unchecked later, the messages will remain anonymous. Checking messages must be approved before being displayed means that the students will not see messages they post until the instructor approves them. If you select this, you should tell the students on which day the messages will be approved. Each approval or rejection must be done manually. Checking Users must start a thread before they can read or reply to other threads in each topic means that a student must create an original post or response to the topic before they are able to read any threads written by any other students. Next, you have visibility and locking options. Click on the triangles to show or hide these options. A form can be visible or hidden and you can choose the dates for visibility. If a form is locked, the students can read existing messages but cannot post a message of their own. Click the Save button. Under the Restrictions tab, in the Release Conditions section, you may add special circumstances for when a student may view your form. In other words, under what conditions will this form be released to students. If you need help setting up release conditions, view the Creating Conditional Releases demo. Under Group Restrictions, you can make a form visible to only certain groups that you have created. When you are finished creating or making changes to your form, click on the Save and Close button to return to the Discussion List page or save and add topic to create a topic for this form. Your new form displays at the bottom of the discussion list. You have now successfully created a discussion form.